From the MidwestSports.net studio, I'm Joey McWilliams. This is Midwest Sports Now. Central Missouri forced an if-necessary game with Colorado Mesa for a trip to the NCAA Division II Baseball Championship Final. The Mules won 7-5 in a game that took place this morning to avoid potential inclement weather. But UCM fell 1-0 in the rubber match this evening to the Mavericks. Mesa advances to take on Tampa for the title. For the third consecutive year, Oklahoma City University has won the Learfield Directors' Cup. The Stars dominated in the 2018-2019 NAI Directors' Cup standings, scoring 921.25 points to finish 115.25 points, ahead of second-place finisher William Carey from Mississippi. Oklahoma City collected its 68th national championship in all sports by taking the NAI men's cross-country title in November. Oklahoma City University ran its consecutive years with at least one national championship to 26 dating back to 1993-94. A Sooner Athletic Conference team has taken the Director's Cup trophy six of the past seven years. In 2018-2019, OCU finished as national runners-up in women's basketball, competitive cheerleading, and softball. Third place in men's golf, fourth place in women's golf, and fifth place in competitive dance, women's indoor track and field, and men's outdoor track and field. Staying with OCU, we reported earlier this week that Stan Holt had been named the new men's basketball coach for the Stars. We spoke with Coach Holt for MidwestSports.now a little earlier today. We get a chance to visit now with Stan Holt, the new head men's basketball coach at Oklahoma City University. Coach, uh, you listen, I know you've been on campus today. You've had an opportunity to get to meet some of the folks there. You've actually been there uh, for the last week or so, getting to stop by. Talk about what it's like to be on the campus at OCU and your new gig. It's exciting, and uh, there's just a lot of great energy Um from all over the campus, which is which is really impressive because it's it's the summertime and, and as you know on college campuses things tend to settle down a little bit. But we had a meet and greet earlier today. A lot of people showed up, including the president of the university. Um, there's a lot of support. There's a lot of energy and enthusiasm about not only the program um, but the athletic department. And so um, it's been it, it's. It just feels like home. It's been great. Um, everyone in the athletic department has been extremely helpful. Um, there's been people that have just been a tremendous resource to me already in helping me transition in. And uh, I'm just excited to be here and to be leading this program. You know, Coach, it really doesn't seem like five years ago when we were talking for the first time as uh, you had taken the position at Langston. 107 wins, 50 losses in five years, so a uh, uh, winning better than 21 games per season, 3-3 three and three in the NAI National Tournament during that time, and a trip to the Elite Eight in the NAI. You had a good run over five years at Langston. We did. We had a special, special time. Um, I'm, I'm proud of what we were able to accomplish there. And I think it was something that we created some great moments, um, not only in the men's basketball program, but also on campus. Um, our student athletes got involved in a number of ways on campus. Uh, I remember one, I, I believe it was my first year, uh, we helped the freshmen move in. And so we had we all had our T-shirts on. It said men's basketball. And we just were helping all the incoming freshmen move into their dorms. Um, and we've just done a lot of really, really cool things and really special things. That One of the things that really stands out to me in my mind um, are the are the players that have come and, and graduated. And I've always it's always been special to go out um, and watch them walk across that stage. And so uh, we've had a lot of uh, really, really great um, players, but but guys who have gone on to graduate from Langston. And so I'm proud of that. And, and another moment that stands out is obviously what you said earlier, the, the Elite Eight finish, which um, I, I still remember uh, some of the ups and the downs of that. But but just being in that locker room after that game and, and being um, filled with mixed emotions, sad that it was over but so incredibly proud of that team and how hard they fought 
and how together they were. And so there were some special moments at Langston and I really enjoyed my time there. Um, and now it's time to make some new memories and some new moments um, at Oklahoma City University. Well, Coach, you know, you're going to be facing that Langston team twice <laughs> this season, and you didn't exactly leave the cupboard bare there. There are going to be a lot of seniors that uh, I'm sure will circle that game on the calendar. Uh, senior heavy roster is what it looks like is coming up. But you come in now to a program at Oklahoma City University, a storied history, no doubt about that. Uh, legendary coach Abe Lemons was a part of that program. I mean, you walk into the Freedy Center, and you're walking into Abe Lemons Arena. So you have that going on around you, lots of banners, 15 national championships in basketball between the women's and the men's program. Talk about what that's been like coming into this setting. You can feel the history, and you can feel the standard of excellence around the athletic department because 68, I believe, national championships – uh, among all sports here, just won the third straight Learfield Directors Cup. Uh, and there is just a standard of excellence and an expectation that you're going to work extremely hard, do your job, uh, do, do your absolute best. And your absolute best is, is excellence. And that's what Oklahoma City University and Ac- Oklahoma City University Athletics stands for and you can feel it when you walk around here and you can feel it when you talk to all these great head coaches and assistant coaches that work in this department and so it's really special uh keeps you on your toes keeps you honest and i love it because um it's a wonderful challenge but it's it's worth it's worth the work uh and it's worth the journey and so i'm just i'm excited about um being here and uh and although we're still recruiting and, and finishing up our recruiting class, uh, part of me can't wait, uh, can't wait for August when all the students come back and get a chance to meet them and, and the faculty and get a chance to meet everyone uh, face-to-face and just feel the energy on campus. I know that you were part of a meet and greet today on campus, uh, being there and, and as you talked about getting to see you know, even the president and and have you had an opportunity to meet with any of your players yet and, and get to see uh, some of what the, the roster that, that you're going to get to work with along with, as, as you mentioned, some recruits? Have you had a chance to visit with any of them yet? I have visited with all of them over the phone. Uh, I visited with uh, a few of them face-to-face. Uh, they are – not all of them are on campus. Some of them have gone home for the summer which is typical, but um, I am continuing to build relationships with them. Uh, I'm excited about being their coach. They've welcomed me with open arms. Uh, They're outstanding young men. They're outstanding people. And and I know the team fairly well. We played them three times last year, (laughs) those guys who are now my guys. And uh, so they know how competitive I am and I know how competitive they are. And so it's a great match for us. And they're so excited, especially the seniors, to get back here. Uh, they're curious. They want to know uh, how uh, the program is going to be run, how we're going to continue to have success here at Oklahoma City men's basketball. And, you know, what, what kind of offense are we running, Coach? What kind of defense? What are we doing? Um, they do have uh, an idea because just like um, I scouted uh, last year's team, uh, so many times they were playing against us and, uh, you know, with my last year's team. So there's some familiarity there is what I'll say. Um, but it's great. Uh, they, they've, they welcomed me with open arms and I'm excited for them. And, and I want to make those seniors, uh, senior years very special. And I think they, and I think they know that. And I think that's part of why they're so excited. All right, coach, you talked about playing them three times last year, your final game at Langston was an 84-73 loss to Oklahoma City University. So I'm I'm sure that, that you probably recall that as well. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. But at least uh, now, <laughs> now you're in the other gym. So you, you've seen those players. You have them really quickly then as we wrap this up. And, again, thank you so much for taking time with us uh, today and, and being on the show. Uh, excellence is a part of the program, a part of the culture that is there. 
talk about what a Stan Holt team then looks like. An overview, no, no state secrets. You don't have to give away the offense or the defense, but just the overview of, of what this team will look like next year. This team is going to be incredibly unselfish. Uh, they're going to move the ball. They, they already trust each other. It's my job to bring in a couple more players that are going to fit that culture and fit those values. And we're working extremely hard to find the right players to bring in to mesh with the already great chemistry that's here. And so we look, uh, we look forward to seeing those guys on the floor compete at an extremely high level, give great effort, uh, be willing to sacrifice themselves for the good of the overall team. And those players that are coming back have proven on the court under the bright lights that they're willing to do that in order for the team to be successful. And every single one of those guys that I've spoken to, and I've spoken to all of them have all told me that the, the chemistry is outstanding on this team. And that's something special. And, and any coaches that are listening to this know how challenging it can be to get everybody on the same page and every team achieves that at a different level. But one of the reasons I'm so excited to coach this group next year is I believe that we already have a head start in that category and I'm going to work extremely hard to continue that and to grow it with the players that we bring in and the culture that, that we set as well. So I'm excited for it. Um, you're you're going to see a great brand of basketball of guys playing extremely hard. Um, something that the alumni and the, uh, the university as a whole can be really proud of. Well, that, that's fun to hear, Coach. And, and personally, I think it's a great fit. I'm excited uh, for you for the opportunity there at Oklahoma City University as we have had the opportunity now to speak with Coach Stan Holt, the new head men's basketball coach at OCU. Success to you this season, Coach. Thank you for being with us on the program today. Always a pleasure, Joey. Thank you for having me. And that is all for this evening. Thanks for watching Midwest Sports Now. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Please do. Weird things are happening on YouTube nowadays. So uh, check us out. God bless you all. Thanks again for watching. Have a great one.